what on earth are exosomes and why is everyone talking about them? My name is Dr. Sanjay Tricker and this is Dr. Zoe Dewan of Trick One Athletics Mayfair. And to answer that question, we are going to take you on a journey or our journey of trying to figure out what exosomes are and what the best ones are. And whether or not they're even worth the hype. So this story begins three years ago, where we went to AMWC, which is one of the world's biggest aesthetic medical conferences. And at that time, we were there trying to figure out about polynucleotides. Everyone was talking about them. They were all the rage and they were slowly but steadily taking over the field of aesthetic medicine. Just on that note, we never like to jump on the bandwagon with the new in-trend fuzzy thing. We always love to do our due diligence and that's what we did three years ago with polynucleotides. So when you go to a conference like this, you get bombarded by about 20 different people who provide this type of treatment. They'll all say ours are the best. They'll talk about their sources and they'll give you papers and they'll say, see, look at the evidence, look at the data, we are the best. Literally, and you're just like, you just get kind of overwhelmed, right? There's so many, uh, similarly to, you know, you guys at home, you probably get overwhelmed with all the different things people are saying online, all the different TikTokers or YouTubers, et cetera, that you're seeing talking about these treatments and why they're the best. But we really wanted to get right down into the science of it. And we did this three years ago with polynucleotides and we actually found the absolute best ones. And we, we did well actually, because they won product of the year at the recent Aesthetic Awards, which is amazing. And they really are amazing, all our patients rave about them, and they're the plinest polynucleotides come from Italy. It's basically like the BAFTA Awards, but for aesthetics. And whoever wins the category of best injectable treatment of the year 2025, it's kind of a big deal because big deal. there are thousands of treatments in this field. And for this to be the specific polynucleotide that is the one that won the overall big award, we're really happy for them. Yeah. Now let's go back to exosomes because you're, wondering, you're probably wondering why we're talking loads about polynucleotides. But the reason is they're all part of regenerative medicine. They're all fairly new in the aesthetic or cosmetic arena. And exosomes are something or, or a buzzword that's been flying around for so long. And you know, now you're seeing it in everyone's creams, you're seeing it in every second clinic that you walk past, and you know, every skin influencer is talking about it now as well. So let's break down exactly what exosomes are which exosomes we've landed on after seeing probably about 80 different brands at the conference that we went to just back in March and why we've picked it. The reason all of this matters and the reason all of this is so important is when we first started our journey in aesthetic medicine, which was just over 10 years ago, we were told and taught at, the, at that time, dermal fillers are all the same, hyaluronic acid is hyaluronic acid, you know, th this, each syringe is the same. It couldn't be further from the truth. The amount of evidence base behind them, the amount of research and technology, the type of results you can get and how it breaks down over time is completely different based on quality of filler. So with that premise, quality of product hugely matters. We always place so much emphasis in trying to research what the absolute best thing you could possibly use is because we know it makes a difference. If you're thinking about the food that you eat, if you're thinking about the clothes that you wear, anything that you do, there's always a difference in quality and it always shows over time. Why not apply that same logic to treatments in the face? Okay, so Dr. Sanjay, what exactly are exosomes? Exosomes are actually tiny carrying vesicles. Think of them as messengers. So let's think of this as an analogy in everyday terms. So you've got your Amazon parcel, which is your exosome, and it contains all the messenger molecules, but you need them to get into the house. So they have to be a specific shape, size and type to get through your letterbox, which is essentially your skin barrier. So when this parcel comes in, what's inside it? We're going to have a lot of different things. Within it, we're going to have growth factors, we're going to have proteins, we're going to have cytokines, and we're going to have mRNA. But what does all this mean, Dr. Sanjay? Yeah, um, <laughs> that, 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 that's a big question. Um, what do these molecules even do, Dr. Sanjay? So what these molecules do is they stimulate and trigger the most extreme regenerative processes within your body. Whoa. So overall, exosome's main thing is about regenerative medicine. It's going to heal your skin, reduce inflammation, rejuvenate your skin deep down on a cellular level, on a regenerative level. So this means you're going to get better quality skin over time. It's going to improve the healing process from other treatments that you might have in clinic. And it's going to improve your skin quality in terms of fine lines, collagen production, hyaluronic acid production, the elasticity of your skin, pigmentation on your skin, and even, we have a separate video on this, but even hair growth. What about the angiogenesis and the melanin stuff? What does that mean, Dr. Sanjay? Well, we're going to get the stimulation of new blood vessels, which are going to help 
transport nutrients around and make everything a lot better. Likewise, the impact on the melanocytes, they're the things that are going to directly impact the pigmentation. So this is one option that can really help with difficult cases of hyperpigmentation or melasma. The best thing about exosomes is they really, really work and they give some amazing results. Take a look at some of these. And the beauty of it is the evidence base behind it is really, really good. The downtime is minimal and the effect is very, very high. So how do we use exosomes in clinic and what do they best combine with? So we use exosomes um, as a combination treatment. So whilst you can just place them directly onto your skin, they're best used combined with other treatment modalities. So the most commonly used one is microneedling which you can see here. We also like to do it with microneedling radiofrequency combined, which is Morpheus 8, just to give extra punch and extra power. Or you can do it after any sort of mesotherapy treatment. So if you're getting your other skin boosters like Profilo, Redensity 1, polynucleotides, the tiny, tiny channels that are formed from the mesotherapy needles themselves can allow for more exosomes to flourish through too. So the goal of the exosome is to amplify the results of whatever it is we're trying to achieve. With things like Morpheus and microneedling, these are triggering regenerative pathways already and they're going to stimulate collagen and elastin. With the exosome, it's going to do this even more so and really turbocharge the result to give you an improvement in fine lines, wrinkles, elasticity, skin tightness, pigmentation and a host of other benefits that we previously discussed. So for more information on the evidence base of this, check the link below where we're going to give you details of all the clinical trials and papers and we're going to share all the results with you. So to summarise, what is the pathway or the journey for the patient? Well, it depends on what the main treatment we're combining it with is, but essentially a lot of these are the same in that it's going to be a course of three to four, about a month apart, and then after that, a one-off treatment once every six months or so. So whether we're using a mesotherapy treatment like Redensity 1 or that type of thing, whether we're doing microneedling, whether we're doing Morpheus 8, we would combine each one of these with the exosomes because whenever it's a regenerative medicine treatment, it's about tapping into skin cycles and tapping into things at a DNA level. The big difference between this and other treatments like Botox or dermal fillers or other things that we do is those are going to be really quick and immediate with a full result after two weeks. This is more slow and steady because it's your own body doing the work and therefore the best results come a long time after, a few months after the initial treatment. So what about the downtime or the recovery period for the patient? So it's a great question and it depends on what we're combining it with. So the best thing about this treatment is if something was going to be combined with something like Morpheus, which might take one to two weeks to recover from, this actually reduces the recovery to just a couple of days. Likewise with microneedling or likewise with the Redensity 1, it turbocharges the recovery because that's part of the regenerative pathways. It's actually directly helping. Yes, because it's healing. It's yeah. anti-inflammatory. Yeah, exactly. So it speeds up the recovery of everything. So if it's going to be two weeks, it'll be a couple of days.